everyone, Firebro999 here, and welcome back to more Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl 2. Today, we're taking on the boss rush mode on Unstoppable Force Difficulty with Korra. Three, Let's begin. Two, so I know it's been a long time since I last uploaded. I was taking a little break here and there, because, you know, it's... I was enjoying my holiday, and, you know, I had to take a little break this January, but we're back here in full force. And yeah, if you guys are new here, I play a lot of Nick Brawl and a lot of other games as well, so consider uh, clicking the playlist in the description if you want to see more Nick Brawl content from me. And if you're a regular here, welcome back! I hope you all had a nice January, I guess, even though it's only like halfway over. So yeah, we're doing this with Korra today. I don't really play as Korra too much, so I don't know how this is going to go, but... Oh, dear. Sheesh! I don't really have a game plan. I'm just gonna wing it here. Oh dear! That attack just progressively becomes harder to dodge. Cora means I'm gonna try to do you justice this time. But yeah, someone also told me last time that I played as Cora in the arcade mode video that her nair changes depending on what element you use last. So right now it's a fire element, but let's say if I use the up strong air, if I do nair again, it'll change to an earthbender nair. And that's just such a cool detail, actually. Like, this game, definitely, it could have spent more time cooking, you know. But, like, there's a lot of effort and detail put into this game, which I do appreciate. Oh, that's dangerous. There we go. I gotta play it safe, because I... <laughs> A lot of Korra's moves can, like, leave her very helpless, and it can send her in directions where I can accidentally SD. So that's my main thing that I have to look out for here. Oh, this is how we're starting off flying, Dutchman. Oops. Really? Nope, I'm not getting hit with that attack. Oh, come on now. The hitbox on that crab is crazy. I keep forgetting I can't throw things upward. I've been playing so much Smash lately. I've been playing so much Melee. <laughs> I'm gonna keep my slime, because I gotta burst and all that. What the f- Ah, oh, man. Should've saw that one coming. Yeah, this is gonna be a hard one. Those barrels in the beginning screwed me up big time. Yeah, the fact that I can't throw upwards, that's what's getting me. Items can only be thrown forward and backwards. Yeah, there goes 40% off rip. Oh, let me get out the way. Okay. Oh, I thought I found a sweet spot for a second. Oh, 
around here somewhere. Oh no! Okay, let's do it. Let's go, Korra. Finally. I'm so mad I had to use a continue there, man. All right, Shredder, let's go. Oh, come on. The hitbox lasts that long? Oh, that's crazy. Oh dear. Oh. Oh, I missed that completely. I love the shield effects too. I think I mentioned that like only once, but I love how uh, Korra has like the little water shield thing. And I think Azula has like a fire shield thing as well. Ah, oh, damn it. Doesn't seem like I can tech that easy either. There we go. The last of me. Finish. The shredder will be back. Sartana, aka the video, the part of the video where I might start getting frame drops. So my apologies in advance if it happens. I love my rock near. I like how every avatar character has an upward kick attack. Oh! Oh, that has a hitbox while it's charging? I never knew that. Let's go! Dang, that did like little to nothing. Nice. I love the little pebble uh, follow-up attack that has.
Oh, why did he start off with that attack? Can I do it? Yes, I did it in time. Thank goodness. That really is not strong. <laughs> it's really better to just like uh, save slime for canceling and like spamming strongs with it. Oh, the frame rate. Quick get it there, everybody. Sorry about that. Frame rate should be fixed. Oh boy, I'm gonna lose a life soon. No, you can't beat me now. See, I already lost a stock to some BS, so I draw the line at losing stock twice. I said losing stock like I'm actually uh, losing money and stuff. No, I meant like my one singular stock that I already lost beforehand. Miss me with that shit. Boy, get the heck out of here. Alright, we just got one more to go. Clockwork. I'm glad I got Clockwork's pattern down, because, like, in the beginning, like, the very first time I fought this guy, I did not know what the heck I was getting into. And I always forget that spinning attack is a thing. Okay, got some good damage on him. Halfway down already? Oh, come on. I was not prepared for that. Pause. Okay, sorry that I keep pausing. I just have to... I keep getting disrupted by things. Baited, bro, with invincibility. Time in. I hate that so much. <clears throat> Tick -tock. Your time's almost up. Oh. Oh, this attack. There we go. Alright, that was still a bit of a bust, because I... Freaking Flying Dutchman screwed up my run. But anyway, that's fine. 
Thank you all so much for watching this episode of Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl 2 Boss Rush. If you enjoyed, make sure you drop a like on the video to show your support to the channel as it helps me tremendously, and I hope you enjoyed anyway. Thank you for watching, and I'll see y'all next time. I'm the Avatar, you've gotta deal with it.